Travis Wagner. It's a country name, ain't it? Wagner? Wagner. Travis. Travis. He lives up in Pennsylvania, so it's not country. And he got some country up there. Everywhere it's got some country. Yeah. But let me tell y'all what Travis did. Tell him what he did, man. It's a dirty motherfucker. Yeah. It's just lonely, though. I don't care how long. You'd surprised what you do when you're lonely. But he's got to be extremely lonely. And antisocial. He decides to get in his damn truck and drive down to this barn in the country. How do you know about the barn, man? The barn. He chased the place. Yeah. What's this string on you, man? He chased the barn, huh? Found a barn. He what was he looking for? Well, he was looking for some animals. In this barn, had some cows, some, some miniature horses, some horses. No. Miniature horses? Don't you call them ponies? Or donkeys? Well, of course. Is it such thing as a miniature horse? Yeah. Really? Yeah, miniature horse. I guess they're donkeys. You call them miniature horses. That's what the news story says. It's a miniature horse, right? He went there and he pulled his dick out. He rammed it in that horse and he started fucking it, right? Did he bust? He even, he even cream pied the miniature horse. How long he hit it, man? Said he hit it for 10 minutes. He fucked a miniature horse for 10 minutes? And I'm thinking that horse was liking it because if he didn't want to get fucked, I'm sure it would have kicked him in his fucking nuts or something. Hey, man, um, did he use protection? I don't think you can catch a venereal disease from a horse. Yeah, you catch some shit from a horse, make your dick fall off. What the fuck <laughs> you talking about? Like what, call, what is it called? The damn horseitis? No, man, you get shit from humans. You can, you best believe you can get some shit from a horse. I don't think horses have venereal diseases. I think they're cleaner than humans. No, man, horses get venereal diseases. They got, they got horse gonorrhea, horse syphilis, all that shit. So, uh, di you didn't answer my question. I mean, that seems plausible. Did he fucking use a condom? No, he blasted in it. You know that horse could probably get pregnant. Fucking half horse, half human come out that's that bitch. That's impossible. What's some things to come out, man? It's half impossible. horse and it's half... No, that shit's true, man. What is that, a minotaur bitch? Yeah, a fucking minotaur come out that bitch. <laughs> man, that's impossible. No, man, man how you, why you think it's impossible? Have you tried it? No, I ain't tried it. It's common sense. I bet sense. you if you fucking horse, fuck the horse, bust about ten nuts in that horse, a goddamn half horse... Half fucking human is good. So let's say a cat goes fucks a dog. What's going to come out? A goddamn dog cat? If he fucks it enough. Mother Nature's crazy like that, man. They call it evolution. Hey, maybe that's how evolution Hey, two goes. different types of dogs can fucking have kids. Right. Why can't a dog and a cat? Think about that. Now wrap your head around that shit. Yeah, let's talk about Travis. Right? And the barn owner, he called him? Saw him say, man, some suspicious activity going on. I just seen this dude walking my barn. I don't know who the fuck he is. So he calls the cops. Right? Before the cops get there. You know how he walked in there, right? He's like, yes. Walks inside and he starts fucking that horse. Gotta act it out, man. You gotta paint a picture for everybody. Right? Yeah. So the barn owner seen him leave and get in his truck and take off. The barn owner got the license plate called Cops. So some some uh, suspicious activity going on. I need y'all to investigate. And of course in Pennsylvania they ain't got shit else to do. So they track down the damn vehicle owner, which is Travis. Yeah. And knock at his door and say, hey. Right at the door, hey Travis, what was you doing in that barn? And he says, I was fucking a horse in there. The miniature one. I even cream pied it. He fucked it, man. Why didn't he go for the big, big horses, man? That big horse fuck, kick his fucking ass, probably. <laughs> trample, trample his ass to death. You know they, they kick, man. They'll fucking kill you, man. Yeah, that's probably why. He went that's why he went out there miniature. Yeah, right. And he told the cops, said, "Yeah, I fucked the horse. I fucking came and everything. Was some, I, I was fucking it for about ten minutes when I, when I busted. Horse right? pussy." Horse pussy, right? That's crazy as fuck. I don't know why you would do such a thing, and then when the cops show up, why would you tell them you just fuck, you went there to fuck a horse? Like it's like shit ain't wrong. Like yeah, that horse ain't shit. That horse don't belong to you. That's animal cruelty. Even if it did belong to you, man, you still can't fuck it. That so, animal's got rights, man. Yeah. Can't be going in there fucking horses. Yes. Can't be doing that shit, man. Fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. Okay. What if a horse came to your house and fucked you? <laughs> How would that make you feel, man? Probably if a horse came in there and rammed his big 20-inch dick inside of you 
and ruptured your fucking colon and blasted nuts all inside your lungs because that's where his dick going to be, how would that make you feel, man? Yeah. You got to put the shoe on the other foot. Yeah. Can't just think what, what you want. You got to think about what that damn manager horse want. Yeah. Yeah, man. Travis, you need to get your shit together. <laughs>